Let us get a little bit lively of your all sitting down. Bless the name of the Lord. We're going to smile a while and give our face a rest this morning. One, two. Smile a while and give your face a rest. Raise your hand. As the different items you will watch, you will participate, and you will reflect because we are in the season where we celebrate the birth of Christ. And as we celebrate the birth of Christ, there is much to reflect on. Whether you are a child of God or not, it, there is much to reflect on. And so as we gather here this morning, bless the name of the Lord, I want you all to feel welcome. Just a warm welcome. Put your hands together for yourselves this morning. All the kids love you down there. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And also behind me, around the table, the table here, we have, praise God, our principal, Mrs. Marshall williams Eyes. We have our chairperson, Miss Amanda Godfrey, to my left. And we also have our guest speaker, Miss Candisha Turner, Deaconess. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so a warm welcome awaits you all this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let us sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the program as we celebrate the reason for the season. Our teachers, our parents that are here, our students, our children, each and everyone, please Feel welcome, a warm, what's it on? Welcome. On behalf of the board of chairs, bless the name of the Lord, each and every stakeholder of the Wasseton Primary School, we welcome you to our choral service 2022. I declare it open. I now hand over to Miss Amanda Godfrey, who is our chairperson for this morning's activities. God bless you. Jesus, city man, see it and just get bad up. 
We thank you for strength. We thank you for journey mercies that we could come and gather in this fashion. And so, Lord, as we come today as the Watsonton Primary School family, Lord, we thank you for those who have seen it fit to be here at this moment. And so, God, as we come to celebrate your birth, as we come to celebrate this time of giving and sharing, we ask, God, that you first speak to our hearts, mighty God. And so, Lord, as we think about this time, this season, I pray, mighty God, it will not just be about the eating and the drinking, but we will remember the reason for this season. And so, Lord, as we come, we ask that everything that will be done, everything that will be said today, will be done to the glory and to the honor of your name. We pray, God, that you bless each and every person that has come today. And I pray, God, that even the word that will be shared with us, mighty God, I pray that we will take something that will benefit us as we go on. And so, Lord, we thank you for this day as we give you praise, as we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me hear you put your hands together for God. Come on. of us. Mine is a privilege this afternoon to bring greetings to you. I hope you already feel welcome and as was stated before we're going to have a wonderful time. This is the third staging of our carol service and all of them have been fabulous thus far and this one will be no different. You know what? You have made the preparations. You're already here, right? And so I want you to just avail yourselves not only to hear what is happening but also to reflect as was stated before on the reason for the season many have passed and gone but we are still here another year another blessing great is the faithfulness of god and so as we are here today you know the saying goes that it is the season to be jolly but as we're being jolly, let us be mindful that there are others who are less fortunate than ourselves. Let us remember to be kind one towards another. And so many times, even through the COVID experience, you know, a lot of selfishness have, has taken place. But I pray that today will be one of the days, the start of something beautiful, where we will be our brother's keeper, our sister's keeper, all right? And I just pray that we will continue to have this, this wonderful spirit. It was love that really caused all of this. The word of God says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so today, as we're all looking lovely today because of the grace of God, let us be mindful of the reason for the season. God bless you and God bless Watson Primary School. Happiness to last through the years. 
R is for respect. I is for indulgence to know how far to go. The for Santa Claus. T is for toys. M is for manger, the place where he was born. A is for angels who watch from dusk till dawn. S is for a star that led three men from afar. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> reading comes to us from the book of St. Luke 2, reading from verse 8 to 20. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and an earth peace to those on whom this favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off 
and found Mary and Joseph, and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread of they spread the word concerning what had been told about this, this child. And all who heard it were amazed, and at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. Verse 20 and ending, the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the reading of God's words. We honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Thank you.
Auntie siblings were planning all day at Grand Market. Me say me can't wait to go to Grand Market. Yeah. Y'all go to Grand Market? Yes. I like that. No. Say me go to Grand Market. I go buy KFC burger, iPhone. I go buy all the whole Grand Market. They got some more money back then. Fifteen thousand. I got fifteen thousand. Can't buy so much something. I don't say jealous and bad man. I just do your eat too much. That's why you have to buy so much something. Me wish my mother did have. Me wish my mother did have money so we could have a grand market. Good afternoon everyone. Our scripture reading today is taken from Matthew 2 and I'll be reading from verse 1 to 12. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is that is born of king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And though Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them to the diligently diligently with time the star appeared and and he sent them to bethlehem and said go and search diligently for the young child and when you have found him bring the word again that i may that i may come and worship him also when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they came, when they were come unto the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, 
and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh, till the last. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Here endeth a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Amen.
Miss Godfrey, young Miss Godfrey. Right, thank you very much. You're always welcome at what's in primary. We want to start the parents because you went out and you bought all these lovely suits and dresses for your, 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 your children. And they're looking smart. Got the parents, students. And then student parents, I want to clap the students that their children because they came out. Especially the grade one to three. They really turned out this afternoon. So we want to thank you for being here. We want to thank the academic staff. We've got a bunch of them here giving all the tokens. There are some of them are sharing right now. And they put together the items. So clap the academic staff. I don't hear the cops and I don't hear it. Thank you. I want to thank the support staff. Especially the canteen staff. I don't know if they are hearing me. We go to the canteen staff because whatever we eat today, they will be the one who would have prepared it. We want to thank the canteen staff. Also the other support staff, Mr. James, we had the candy walkway. Last night the candy walkway was done. Thank you, Mr. James and the other support staff, Mr. Devine. And Ms. Taylor, thank you very much. What a family musician, Mr. Davis, and his team, thank you very much. I want to thank myself also. <laughs> yes, thank myself. Yes, I want to thank myself. I don't even know really what anybody else. The staff, I said the staff already. I said I said support staff also, so <laughs> he would have been the support staff. So another year, another choral service. We are going to eat now. A lot of food, a lot of food, a lot of food. Everybody can get you need to invite the parents, but they came in their numbers. And we are going to treat you also, parents. We are going to give you food. We don't have much to drink, but whatever we give, we give from our heart. And I want to wish you all a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Have a wonderful time. Let me see all of you January morning, January 9th. We are back here. I'm back and hope we don't put on any weight. So have a Merry Christmas, parents and students and everybody else. Merry Christmas. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Hello there. Can we come down on the noise, please? All excited for Christmas. All right, let me say good afternoon again. All right, on behalf of the Watson Primary School, this is Turner. We would like to present this program to you. And um, I must say, personally, I like your presentation. I like that you got everybody involved to the point where we had an active side and an inactive side. Right, I really like that. And we hardly have presenters who actually come and give gifts. They normally just come with um, the lovely speeches, don't they? Right, but this is Turner. You came with a difference and we really appreciate it. And we hope that whatever is inside here will make you feel merry. So, looking forward to seeing you again. And God bless. God bless. God bless you. Anybody else here love Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all love Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, close your eyes and we're about to bring this program to a close. Hallelujah. Mighty God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, conquering lion with proper child of, of Judea. Mighty God, we give you thanks this afternoon. We thank you for all that you have done here. We thank you for bringing the parents, the children, teachers, administrative staff, and all the Watson family together in this fashion. God, COVID thought he could have stopped us, but God, you show that you reign in victory. You show that you reign in the lives of your people. And today, here we are, after two years without 
this Christmas choral service. We are here celebrating Jesus one more time, celebrating life one more time, and we give you all the glory. We thank you, mighty God, for the guest speaker who has done such a wonderful job. Our moderator, mighty God, we thank you for her as well. And we just give you thanks for everything. Everyone can say that they have enjoyed themselves here today in the Lord. And God, as we are about to partake of food and other activities, I pray God Almighty that you just continue to be with us. Bless the food, mighty God. Let it be of nutritional value to our bodies. And God, let us forever be grateful to you for your mercies that never fails and your graciousness that causes us to be here this afternoon. Thank you one more time, mighty God, as we continue to look to you and give you glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.